what's good josh your boy ross back at again with another video so i've been seeing this topic be discussed on social media uh for the past couple of days and that is which match was better brian danielson versus will osprey at aew dynasty or cody rhodes versus roman reigns night two at wrestlemania 40 now a lot of people list these matches as match of the year candidates and there really is no wrong answer here so i want to put that out there before i give my opinion on which match i feel is better there's no wrong answer here these matches were great in their respective ways the atmosphere from the crowd on both of these matches were fantastic the in-ring action was great there was a lot of good stuff in both of these matches in separate companies so i want to put this out there this is not a video to spur up tribalism you can like one and like the other or you can like them both equally well if you want to either matches or companies or the people involved doesn't matter it's your personal preference let's not do that in the comment section if one person say i feel like this match is better and compared to the other one let's let's not get into that because if i see it i definitely will delete the comment we're not doing that this is just as a fan who enjoy wrestling i want to give my opinion i want to get y'all opinion on which match do you feel is the better match and let's put this out there even before i give my opinion the fact that we actually have an option to choose from which company which match is better us wrestling fans win that's the biggest thing you got to take away from this doesn't matter who who you feel like had the better match in whatever company us wrestling fans we win because we got two phenomenal matches so in comparison who do i feel like had the better match for me it's gonna have to be roman and cody i'm gonna give my reasons why in comparison to uh will osprey and, and brian danielson but roman and cody for me the story was that much more important the story was that much more fleshed out this is a story that we've been following since cody came back to wwe and the whole situation with him not finishing his story at wrestlemania 39 and trying to fight his way back to the mountaintop and not only that fighting his way back he had to deal with the whole rock situation that really is what elevated this rematch to newer heights when the rock got involved and granted we know initially cody wasn't even going to be in the mix this year with roman um but they pulled an audible they listened to the fans they pulled an audible and we literally ended up getting a heel version of the rock a new characterization characterization of the rock in the final boss and what cody had to overcome the odds were stacked against him the ultimate babyface story this was fantastic this was a, a a match that will stand the test of time there are matches and moments in wrestlemania history that you will always remember and this for me is something that i will always remember uh, you know, if God says the same, I can live a long life. I can go back and say, I remember at WrestleMania 40 when Cody finally finished the job. Was it over uh, booked? For sure. But I think people were so invested for the story, for the ride. And that's what kind of worked. The in-ring wrestling was pretty good as well. Roman Reigns and Cody Rose, they they make fantastic like even though we don't see it much they when they're in the ring it's it feels like a big fight feel their their styles work really well i i love it cody trying to fight from underneath the entire time but every time roman gets the upper hand you think it's over cody kicks out because he's he's refusing to quit it was just fantastic in those last five minutes of the match i want to say five yeah it was about maybe my 10 minutes like the last 10 minutes of that match was just overbooked nonsense but it was fantastic john cena coming out there to handle up on solo and get his revenge on the bloodline then the rock coming out there they're having their epic flat uh you know like clash standing in the middle of the ring crowd chanting holy shit it was a great moment then the rock hitting the rock bottom on john cena 
And then all of a sudden, you hear the gong, and it originally supposed to be Stone Cold, the glass breaking, but you hear the gong of The Undertaker. You hear that? He pops up from behind him. They have their history, you know? He he chokes, slams him. It was just, it was just crazy. Just, it was fun. It was fun. Like I said, sometimes the story will elevate what's going on in the match. Even if it doesn't make a lick of sense sometimes, a lot of times, if the story is good, you got you 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 got people there. And for me, I would take a match that has really good storytelling that's been built up properly, that has um you invested over a match that's technically fantastic and it's just brilliant what you're watching, but there's not much story involved. You know, story to me is king. Because that's how you get people even more invested. But if you're able to add that extra element of really great technical wrestling, now you have something really special. But for me, it's going to be Roman versus Cody, uh, WrestleMania uh, 40 Night 2, man. That, that is my five-star match in comparison and the better match for me. Now, let me get to the Will Ospreay and Brian Danielson match. This match was fucking great. I didn't even get to see it live. I had to come back home. And I want y'all to understand this. I skipped forward to see this match. Because I didn't watch all the pay-per-view at one time. This was the match I was looking forward to. And also uh, Samoa Joe versus Swerve Strickland. Those were the matches I was really looking forward to the most. And watching this match. There wasn't really much build. Like in story sense. Obviously, these guys wanted to see who was the better wrestler, who was the best in the world. And for some people, that's all you needed. And for me, I didn't trip. It worked. I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, I needed it to have some type of extra build. It didn't have to. It would have been cool if they could have built some more story to it. For sure. You know, I wouldn't have tripped off that. But at the same time, it, their story is simply who's the better wrestler. And you know what? This shit was great. This shit was fire. This was fantastic. The moves they were hitting. This was technically the better sound wrestling match. This was great. The selling that they were doing. Brian Danielson killing it. Will Ospreay with his athleticism. This was hard hitting. This was great. The atmosphere in the arena too. They were The crowd was amped up. You, It felt like a main event match. That's how good that shit was. It was great. It's 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 one of it's one of the reasons why you know people give Brian Danielson the greatest of all time moniker. People give Will Osprey that moniker of uh, the greatest of all time as well. You know they they killed it. And this is one of the few people where you literally can just have them a week before the actual pay-per-view event say, hey, I want to fight you. Hey, I want to fight you too. Let's fight. And it will still, you, you'll probably get damn near a five-star classic because they're that good in the ring. And they don't have to build as much story. Now, personally, if there was a built-up feud with this, I think this would have, this really would have been something even, you know, better than what it was. But I'm not going to fault anybody that tells me they like this be match better than Cody versus Roman. I'm not going to get mad at you. There's no way I could. If I'm a wrestling fan, there's no way I get mad at you for saying that. I'll be like, you know what? Shit was fucking fire. If I, who am I to tell you no? Who am I to tell you you're wrong? No. So this match was really great. I just feel like, you know... Story for me will always edge out matches like this just a little bit because this is a very close one. I don't want y'all to think, oh, is this is disparagingly large, large uh, um, in comparison. No, this is very close, and I had to really sit there and think about it. But for me, this is a match I will remember as well. Brian Danielson versus Will Ospreay, definitely a memorable match, definitely a match of the year contender. Some people may say it is match of the year, but I think. With the whole Cody and Roman and how long I've been invested in the story, by default, it's going to be that match because it, it, it hit everything I needed it to hit on the emotional highs and lows. That's why I would choose that. But this match, definitely, if they added, if they built up even more 
you know, really build some some tension with these guys in the sense of more storytelling before the match, I think this would have been, you know, it would have been even tougher for me to choose. But either way, there's no wrong answer here. Both these matches definitely deserve to be contender for match of the year. This was fantastic. You know, I, and if we win. Wrestling fans, we win, guys. Let's remember that. Let's not get to the point of, oh, this match is better and it's better than that entire company and blah, blah, No, we win. If both shows are putting on, well, both companies putting on great matches and great shows, how do we lose? This is what we've always wanted. That's why I will still be a person that sits up there and say, AEW needs to be a thing. It does. Doesn't matter how y'all feel about it. Despite Tony Khan's shortcomings, AEW needs to be a thing. So that way we can get alternative style matches like this. This was technically sound. And you can tell it was more technically involved for the wrestling side. While the other side did have some good wrestling, we knew the story and the ride that people were on was primarily the story and what they were going to tell in that ring. And you can't be mad at us being having the best of both worlds, man. Comment down below. Let me know. And let's keep it. Let's keep it civil, guys. I just want to know which match do you feel like is the better match in your opinion? There's no wrong answer here. There's no need to talk shit about the other companies. It doesn't matter. I just want to know which match you like more and give your reasons why. If you're in the comment section starting to try to start some AEW, WWE war type shit, I'm going to delete your comment, bro, because there's no need for that. Let's just keep it focused on which match you like the most. That's it. But I appreciate all the love, support, road to 150K, and I'm still young, speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.